Hi. How's it going? And back here, Crazy got everything piped up for the oil, so you can see that it's running. Oil in the naphtha, sulfuric naphtha is coming over here. We got hydrogen and empty cells waiting, making a hydrogen sulfide, which we still need to. Crap, I took it out. We still need to get this reactor set up to make the actual sulfuric acid. And that is going to be needed to make these boards, which we are going to be needing soon. So we have to set up to make this epoxide stuff next, which is going to be the epichlorohydrin, naphtha cells, and nitrogen dioxide. And she's getting a lot of nitrogen our uh, oxygen cells, so we're going to set up a nitric oxide setup soon to use those. And this is where she's getting the putting the yellow limonite in, getting the iron oxygen. It's automatically pumping the hydrogen into here, and then we just put the empty cells here. Uh, after today, we might be moving everything in here and driving cr crazy completely nuts because there's something she's getting ready to make and we had to get the plastic to do so and we now have the plastic so what is the new thing you're making today uh hg turbine mm -hmm. which requires which means that you need to make a new kind of circuit mm -hmm. so First, you're going to make the good integrated circuit. Right. Which is, which is what you're making right now. Correct. And we're going to need three of these for that circuit? Two. Two for this circuit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the recipe she's running through right now. So three integrated logic circuits, four resistors, the phenolic circuit board and eight fine gold wire or I think she could use electrum no I guess it's all gold no electrum is the next step okay so the only difference in the recipe is you could do the SMD res resistors which is carbon dust and fine electrum wire and polyethylene problem is this needs a medium voltage assembler we only have a low voltage assembler with plastic in it for right now so that'll be the next step is setting that up then what she's going to be doing with that is making these which is a good in two good integrated three integrated logic circuit and for that we need the integrated logic so the wafer cut into the logic wafer and then that into the logic circuit board then the RAM chip which is a random access memory wafer cut into them and we need a green sapphire lens to do this which is the actual exquisite she has to do is green sapphire you can use um, olivine or emerald as well it just has to be a green one so that is going to then go into the precision laser here and that's how she's going to make the uh, ram chips which she'll do now and then we're going to need transistors which is silicon plate fine tin wire and polyethylene which that'll be done right here as soon as she has those and see that RAM chip is running right now or the RAM wafer is right now and uh, then she'll just have to throw these together you said the yes. transistor is what? the transistor is one silicon plate mm -hmm. And six fine tin wire. In what? As an assembler? 
Yes, this assembler right here because it has to have plastic. Um. So that. And so there's your eight transistors. And after the naphtha comes out of there, it comes up here and it gets oxygen cells or air cells. I wish you could use oxygen cells. And we just make them over here in the compressor. We're still doing everything here pretty much manual. Not a whole lot of automation yet. You ready? Hopefully crazy will do the automation. Yep, I'm ready. Wait, am I missing seen the live some, stream. Uh, the electrum? Yeah, you're missing the fine electrum wires. If you all seen the stream today of me trying to do our uh, processing, my things can get a little messy. I thought you needed two of these circuits. Why'd you only have enough I only need good one. ones to make one? Oh. Because okay. I only need one circuit. Oh, you needed two goods to make the one uh -huh. advanced, and you only need one advanced. And you need three regular integrated circuits to make one good. So a whole lot of circuits to make a whole lot of circuit to make one circuit. <laughs> yeah. And there's our advanced circuit. Now this is going to open us up to all of our HV stuff. We can this now make way? HV components. We can also make a portable scanner, which is an important thing to have. Uh, we could make now the 8V solar panels. Are you going to come um, look in this table? have the glowstone. In a second, give me a second. We can make teleporters if we choose. And the transformers we're not really worried about. We can also now make an advanced jet plate if we choose to. And we can make lapatrons. Quarry as well. And then that's all the machines for HV as well. And now I will come look at this table that she's worried about me looking at. Mm -hmm. I want to craft so, it. So, turbo steam turbine. So, two HV motors, stainless pipes, steel rotors, HV machine hall, and that advanced circuit we just made. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead and grab it. I did. As you can, oh, I keep forgetting it's ghosted. As you can see, farm blocks are in here. She has the thirty-six farm blocks made, so we can make our automated farm outside our uh, forestry one since the one from GT plus plus isn't working on servers yet and you can see she did some fancy stuff in here still want to cut out some of this dirt underneath here she thinks it looks better like this than like this and I agree I also think we might want to get some zinc and cover these pipes at least on this edge I think it'd look better since it's white on white. You mean like over here? Uh, yep, just like that. And we also might want to get rid of this dirt that's here. But now that she has that, we can put it in right here. We won't have to make a whole lot of huge steam pipes. And then put it we on can top get rid of... Or right next to this? Yep. Well, hold on. Before you do that, you need to cut that out. That out so we know right where it's going. But yeah, put it right there. Now, if you want to, you can actually put this in there further and make some more of these huge steam pipes. That way we have a little bit less loss. But that's why all of this is pretty much going to change because we're going to take out this and this and these two. And we're just going to put in a battery box and transformer for them. 
So our steam will come in there and we'll decide exactly how we're going to plumb all that up later and get everything made that we need to. Uh, do you have um, your uh, transformer so we can set this up? I have a transformer. I need one LV transformer and we're going to need some copper cable. This is probably going to be pretty what ugly. What size copper cable? Um, the 8X again. I have three of those. We're going to need one, two, three, four. And we have... Yeah, we don't want it to be right up against that. So yeah, we're going to need one more 8X and Neo Copper cable. And we can basically set this up. It's going to be set up just like it is right there, but over there. And then that'll give us our electromagnetic separator and our chemical bath. We've been holding on to all of these things to be ran through. Um, we still need to get a filter for the sifter and we're going to have to do some piping but we're going to go ahead and put this part in for now um, this is something that's definitely going to be changed it's probably still going to be in the same basic layout but it'll be changed when we do, do our redo thing here and now that we have HB, we can basically go for the universal macerator, which will give us byproducts. This up here. Universal macerator? Yeah. Um, the pulverizer is EV. The macerator is HB. Right there, universal macerator, HV. So you need an HV piston, HV motor, two circuits, which can be the advanced. And then she's gonna need to make this uh, diamond grinding wheel. So four diamond dust and a industrial diamond in the center. Now the industrial diamond means there's a new multi-block she needs to make. Um, well, I forgot. He did put the recipe back in here for this, but it should technically be this. This is not something that, um, was in a compressor, um, but it can be done that way. Uh, let's see. So you can either do it with obsidian and the compressed coal balls, which can all be done in a basic compressor. Mm -hmm. Or you can do it with a block of wrought iron, um, block of refined iron, so steel, a steel block, an iron block, or even just basic bricks in an assembler so I would prefer that she makes the actual implosion compressor but we'll leave that up to her now the you problem know I'm going to take the easier route I know that <laughs> now, the problem with this is that we can do the coal chunk in here with two industrial TNT or diamond dust with eight industrial TNT or 16 regular TNT or four TNT and a cold chunk. Now, if we do it this way, we might actually have the TNT from uh, mine carts, TNT mine carts, but I think we only have two. So the only other way of doing it is these powder barrels. And these powder barrels mean we got to do a whole lot of creeper killing 
because you need four gunpowder times 16. So you got this ready for us to set this up? Got our cable? Yes, I got the cable. All right, so stretch your copper cable out there. All four of them? Yep, just come straight out from here. We're going to need a piece of zinc. Actually going to need two pieces of zinc. And I don't see any. By the way, you do realize that this bronze um, pipe machine casing can be recycled now, right? Probably. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in here and recycle it. No reason to leave it sit around. You got any zinc? Or no. I got to make some. I can make some real quick. Yeah, we don't even have it. You've been using everything up here, ain't you? What? The ingots. Mm-hmm. I see this. And there is one thing that I noticed that I'm not quite sure about while she's looking at that. Um, see if I can find it this way. Silver poly, this one. You can either make it in a fluid solidifier, an alloy smelter, an extruder. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I actually seen a hammer recipe for that earlier. Ain't that the one that I was talking about? Oh, this no. is the one. The foil. You can make the, you have to solidify the plate. Then you got to hammer the file out of the uh, plate, and that just seemed kind of weird. There's no other um, recipe to get this foil. And I thought that was kind of weird because this is like a plastic thing, and I didn't think there were supposed to be hammer recipes for plastic things. I think the bender would actually be a better recipe for this than the hammer. And if it is going to be a hammer, we should at least be able to use the hammerer, the forge hammer, um, because this is used to make these SMD capacitors, and we're going to be wanting to make them soon, but we got to make this stuff first. And I'll show you here what this stuff is. It's that epichlorohydrin that we're going to be making soon with silicon dust, and that makes your molten polysilohexane, whatever. All right, so you got our zinc? Yeah, I gave you a piece. I need two. You said one. I know what I said, but I always lie. Well, walk away when I throw it to you, why don't you? Always. All right, Transformer. <laughs> I'll stand back here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I blew nothing up today, thank you. <laughs> Amazingly. Boom! And the crowd goes wild. All right, so you want to come over here with your wrench and help me do this very carefully? We need very I'm going to take these two. I got to remember what order I did this in. Uh, okay. So this one is going off of here. What did, would you like me to grab? Um, grab the other item filter and buffer. So that's going off of there to there. And I had the machine sitting here. So it should be right here. Or what? I think. Wait a minute. No. Item buffer goes right where you're standing. Right where I'm standing? Or the, the filter goes right where you're standing. All right. 
and these are opposite so if we want the output this direction we need to hit it on the other side which is the corners now the buffer goes on there and it's going to be facing this direction facing what towards you yeah but it doesn't matter just stick it on that item filter there all right and now we hit it this way and now we'll go grab our two machines here you can grab the chemical bath I'll grab the electromagnetic separator we're gonna have this one go here yours is gonna go right there right where next on the other side of the transformer there next to the buffer all right and now we're gonna put the advanced centrifuge right here on the very end oh yeah because it's it's empty so it can go there yep and then we're gonna turn this this direction and now we're going to set this to fluid auto output it's going to be turned going this direction uh, we're going to have the item output for both of these coming up we're going to set this filter to emit energy to the buffer but we're not going to have the buffer emit to the machine because it's on the transformer so we're going to do the same for this one and then the filter will power the buffer the transformer will power the machine so now all we need to do is get them set on what needs to go in them this centrifuge is for redstone and cinnabar so I do believe we have some cinnabar already over here from processing redstone and we do and these will go in two at a time so you want to make sure you have even amounts these will go in here that'll make our mercury and we'll also get more sulfur from this as well just like we don't need more sulfur hey torches man torches yeah I know um, now you're gonna want to make a conveyor module for this um, that way we can send the sulfur out over there and I'm going to go and eat up that redstone vein that I found down there with my Chaco does it that matter Chaco marker right there what does it matter what type of conveyor um LV should be good enough as slow as this thing is gonna run um, you got a pipe Not that bad. Chaco vein right there is a three wide vein. It's got Chaco in the center, redstone on this side, lapis on that side, and a straight Brass, line. Brass, okay. Almost. Brass is fine. Now, you're going to need to set this up so it connects right here. But for right now, this will be... You got a screwdriver on you? So we need to hit that to input. Now, in case you guys didn't know, if you put the cover on the pipe, it does not take power. If you put it on a machine, it will actually take power every time it works. So unless you're wanting to keep your designs very flat like that, always use a pipe. That way it doesn't take extra power. Now, if we just put a chest up there, that'll collect the sulfur and stuff for us. Until you get it connected to the line. Now, you did say you did a little testing with the uh, pipe here, and it does work with that conveyor better. Yeah. Like Briarios was saying. Not like completely efficient because I'm still getting stuff over here, but yeah, better. Okay, so you moved it to the side instead of the front, which made it a hell of a lot better. Yeah. And then we put 
conveyor modules on both of these and set it to output to the controller and that makes it better we have less stuff coming over here that shouldn't be over here now there was a lot of cobalt is there a chance that the cobalt is full yeah see the cobalt is full yeah so we need to get that packager done and then that will probably take care of that overflow because as of right now this is what we're doing we're just using this one compacting drawer and then pulling them out putting them away which these go over here and once we get the uh, packager all of these small ones will go away because they'll all be inside of the packager thing do we not have which a place until, to sink? I have no idea I don't think we do until we get a way of making them we're gonna have to use multiple chest buffers because if you look here this is a chest buffer it's just a regular basic circuit a conveyor module machine hall and chest and if you want the super buffers which is what I was using in the stream this morning you either need four of these data sticks or one data orb now a data orb is going to be UU matter in an autoclave at 320 EU a tick with eight exquisite emeralds or a circuit assembler at 9600 EU a tick with all kinds of crap we ain't even gotten close to doing yet so unless we eat an exquisite or a uh, emerald vein and get UU matter because we don't even have a way of doing UU matter yet which means we need UU amplifier in a mass fabricator and that's crap we can't do um, or we can do like I said the data sticks which is a little bit easier um, we can do those at 90 EU a tick then we need that epoxide board that I was talking about. We need plastic sheets, which we can do now. And so we could do it this way. But we'll leave that up to Crazy if she wants to do multiple of the chest buffers or try to make data sticks. Now, I would like her to make at least one data stick because what we did in the beginning of yesterday's video we can actually do right now which is setting up the seismic processor and the machines to uh, run that stuff so you have this seismic processor right here problem again though is we need explosives to do so and explosives is kind of a pain in the butt to get right now now it does say it'll take one glycerol which we can make that and I'll show you that in a minute here um, this will find us oil and I'm wondering if they changed it from the video we did the stream we did earlier because it said there was no ores found and I'm wondering if uh, you have to have the EV to find the ores if this one only finds the actual uh, oil we'll test that out when we make it problem is we need quartzite and we cannot find freaking quartzite and the reason why we're looking at that is because we want the drilling rig so we can get oil so we need to make this thing which is steel frames two good circuits MV hall 3MV motors and that makes your drilling rig and then it's just um, solid steel casings and some steel frame boxes so a lot of steel and we can have this and then eventually we will do the miner which I think it's called the advanced miner 2 
right here. But that is going to take titanium, which is a whole nother setup we got to work on. Oh. And that will be later. Now, we did realize that this thing that's been sitting here can now be made. Crazy just has to make three advanced circuits. So we will probably have that ready to be set up in our next video. And that is a multi-smelter, or will be. Shh. Oh, hush. They're not so I'm slow sure, yet. I'm sure anybody that's watched anything about Greg Tech or played Greg Tech can tell from the size and shape what it is. <laughs> uh, I do believe that's going to be it for today. I'll show you guys here that we have Mercury backed up. So now what we're going to do is throw... What did you... Oh, it's in this box. We have silver, gold, lead, nickel. Those just need to be washed. And these are the main things we have right now that need to go in here. And so... Crazy? What? Over here on the filter... We're going to put the silver and then drop it in here. The nickel, drop it in. The lead and drop it in. Now you also need to get Galena. Next time you do Galena, mm -hmm. that needs to go in here as well. And then our gold. So whenever you process them, they can run through here. Now the you'll see that they're all going to sit right here in this buffer until they can go into the machine and then we're going to have to set an output for the machine because they're just going to back up inside there but you'll see when it gets done with this first silver that we will get a purified silver a silver dust and more of that good old stone dust that you love so much mm -hmm. but this is going to be how we get extra silver and extra gold um, also, all of those magnetite veins that we found, we're going to put magnetite through here as well so we can get our gold out of there. Because as you've seen with circuits, we're going to need a lot of gold and a lot of electrum. Mm -hmm. So having this set up to get extra silver and extra gold out of stuff is very important. Now on this side, what this is going to do is you're going to be able to put like your glauconite if you choose in here to get extra iron the main ones that are going to go in here are going to be the pyrite uh tin you can do as well to get extra iron we're not worried about the neodymium stuff your banded iron you definitely want to put in here uh magnesium will give you iron as well Nickel, which we, I can't remember if we want to do that one or not. Do you want to put tin in here? Um, we got to look at what tin's byproduct is. Tin's byproduct in here is iron. But what is it if you centrifuge it? Purified tin. Now the nickel we definitely don't want to do because Zinc. we get platinum. Okay, we have plenty of zinc. Now we also have plenty of iron, so it's kind of your choice. We have iron more has iron. A lot more. We have more iron than we have zinc. But iron has a lot more uses. True. So, like I said, it's your choice whether you want the zinc or if you want the iron. Um, nickel, we most definitely will not put in here because if we centrifuge it, we get platinum. And we want the platinum out of it. Mm. Um, but here's the vanadium magnetite, which if you did it in a centrifuge, you get extra vanadium. If you do it in here, you get extra gold, which we probably want to keep the vanadium rather than the uh, gold from it, because that's the only way of getting vanadium. But we definitely want to put the magnetite in here. Uh, yellow limonite, which we've already processed some. 
will give us brown limonite in a centrifuge, but it'll give us small pile and iron nugget chances in here. So we now want to put that in here. Uh, pentalandite, we're not going to do because that's going to be for nitric setup. Chromite doesn't exist. There's the brown limonite, which we want to put in here. And there's the magnetite. If we run magnetite through a centrifuge, we get a guaranteed tiny pile of gold. But if we run it through here, we get a 40% chance at a small gold and a 20% chance at a gold nugget. Chances are we're going to get more gold if we run it through this way. So the vanadium, the magnetite is going to be ran through both of these machines. They're going to be shoved into the macerator. Then it's going to be ran through the mercury bath to get gold. Then through the electric separator to get gold. So that means I'm going to have to eat up a magnetite vein soon again. We already have some up here. Um, we should have a lot up here. Yeah, because we did kill one full magnetite vein. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I... See, we have three stacks. Three Plus is all we got? 64, yeah. Okay, so you can start running through that. We have, I think, a lot of the brown and yellow that we can run through. We've got 12 stacks of pyrite that can be ran through. Uh, there's the vanadium, so we can start making some vanadium steel. And... And we found Molly the other day. Found Molly, so we can actually do um, ultimate very soon. Yeah, we've got seven stacks of yellow limonite left and five stacks of brown limonite left that we can run through there. And we'll try to set this up when we do our HV stuff a little bit. Uh, hopefully better than what I did. I'm going to try to actually plan it out a little bit more this time. And uh, let crazy help. Mm -hmm. Maybe it won't be as bad of a disaster looking contraption as this morning's was. <laughs> but you need to get started on that universal macerator. Because we will actually want two of them because your four jammer will no longer be used. What? This one right here will no longer be used. Why? Because that universal macerator, if you look up, say, iron ore, well, iron ore is a pain in the butt. If you look up gold and you look at the gold ore and you look at the pulverization, you will see that anything that is a regular gold ore will give you two crushed gold ore and a by byproduct 10% chance of copper. Now, that is the universal macerator that gives you that 10% chance of copper from your gold. This here you have to have the universal pulverizer for, which is the EV one if you want the rock, which unless it's red granite we really don't care about the rock um, now if you look at when you have it out of the ore washer what we have been doing is running it through the hammer which just gives us a purified pile of gold dust but if you run it back through the pulverizer or the universal macerator you then get a 10 percent chance of nickel dust Mm -hmm. and your purified pile of gold, which then can be centrifuged to give you another nickel. And that's the same with every ore. So every ore that we have been hammering down, we can now macerate and get a 10% chance of getting its secondary byproduct out of it in the macerator. Mm. So that's why we want two... One that'll be strictly for ores, one that'll be strictly for purified ore. Mm -hmm. You got that? 
Yeah. All right. So, hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, let us know. Make sure to go check out Crazy's View. Link is in the description. And if you've got any questions, give us a holla. Bye. Later. <laughs>